Good evening, everybody. This is David slash Asher, and joining me tonight is MPX. Hello. Uh, and we're going to be continuing Sea of Stars, so... Uh, as for... Uh, what happened Tuesday, I do apologize. It was one of those... We figured it was going to be that, uh, that there was not going to be any Tuesday or Thursday stream. It just got a little confused. So, uh, I think next week is when Eddie will return, and either we're going to be returning with Armored Core or Starfield. Starfield, I think we're going to be doing Armored Core. Mostly because of the fact that uh, Eddie would probably want to enjoy on his own time initially. Well, yeah, but he has spoken that he does want to stream with it. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. But let's get into Sea of Stars and see where this takes us. Uh, also, the other influence for Sea of Stars is Chrono Trigger, by the way. So, Super Mario RPG and Chrono Trigger. I have been playing Chain Echoes, which is the Xeno Gears inspired game. That one has a lot of different mechanics. Okay. Ah, yeah, we did take care of this one, so. Mmm, patats. Base armor. Basic armor! Ooh! Hmm, got some meat. Thank you. 
Man! Good combo on that one. Merchant! What do you got? Tomatoes. But... Hmm. Roast sandwich. Sixty, fifty. Basic salad, thirty-five. Tomato club, twenty. I've got a feeling that there's going to be favorite foods in this game. Otherwise, the uh, diversity doesn't make much sense. Yeah. And I'm guessing favorite foods heal or do added effects, probably. So, I'm going to go with a roast sandwich. And... Herb filet... Some basic foods cook really fast, while others take a bit of time. It could be leftover systems from a different film. Maybe. Or just, they wanted some... I, I know it's weird to say some semblance of quotations realism. <laughs> Saw you chest. Shaudri. Need a snack. Oh. 
Hey, a level up. Okay, so one, two, eight, or three. It's getting four health points now. You got two MP for magic defense, but this would put it five, which I think would get us. Uh, let's see here. I think one mana isn't gonna work, uh, but that's the only stat that he isn't being able to a point up. I'm gonna go for magic defense on this one. Eight. Two magic attack, plus one. Definitely physical defense. I'm gonna put, weirdly enough, the one mana point. Hmm. Milk. And looking at it, it looks like it changes, it, it removes the one we use and then forces us to start picking the ones that uh, we haven't chose. So, okay. It looks like... Words you're unlikely to get a bad choice of, oh, you screwed yourself over. Yeah, it looks like it's, if you have, if you don't choose this one, it'll just carry over to the next, and then sooner or later you're going to have to choose that one and slowly build up. Yeah. In other words, you can technically get ahead on certain stats and build characters for certain things. But eventually, they're all going to just simply uh, uh, level up to what they're supposed to be characterized as. Yeah.
getting slightly better at that every time. Interesting, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa! Uh, Carl, you just kind of teleported straight there. Children of the solstice have come for the rite of passage, but I'm also since one who does not belong here. He... <laughs> Is he brave or foolish? Whew, let's find out. Welcome, young adventurers, to the sacred pond. Okay, he quite literally is missed. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name is Garl. My, what a gregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for the common folk. It... Children of the Solstice, step forward. Whew. It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued with the sacred pond's magic. Whew, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. <laughs> you shall henceforth have light in the darkest of places, and protection against the minions of the Flashmancer. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Whew! Rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has not taken root in has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? It allows you to attack. It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, the power should even extend to your traveling companions. <gasps> you are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist. I'd like to go with them. Hmm. Whew. The Elder Mist trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring solstice warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You're the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. Sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. 
That was a weird purple it. I will allow it. All right. Thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that try and stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Whew. That is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power, and your training will be complete. Whoa, I have to try that. <laughs> the trials await! Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed! We we just knocked out squeaky bits from this thing. That attack did nothing. The spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. I guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be. I feel kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let's let me try something. Boost. <laughs> Slorp. <laughs> Whoa. It worked. How does it feel? Like power. So if I attack, it should do magic damage now. That was amazing. I want to try it next. Boosting has been unlocked. Insert meme now! Use the boost to get through. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold right trigger and press A to absorb a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked. Each addition, uh, adding a portion of your character's magic attack. Step to the next action to increase power. In the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their ma uh, weapon's damage type. Whether you're dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. center or middle.
Okay, so... That's very basic in how it handles. Oh, hi. Lots of red berries. Shiny Pearl. Okay, so... Intriguing. Why'd I save this one for last? Get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Of these two actions, which one generates MP? Tally. Duh. Is are they trying to quiz you on the tutorial? <laughs> They're trying to make sure I understand the the tutorial? Let's see what this one says. What is the name of the school you went to? Zenith Academy or Solstice Elementary? Zenith Academy. Mushroom Scramble.
One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to destroy dwellers. Who become vulnerable during which of the natural phenomenons? Equinox, Solstice, or Eclipse? If I remember correctly, it's Eclipse. And now I'm guessing the final test is to assemble the artifacts in the appropriate order. This is our last chance to prepare. Wait. Rest. Even though we didn't do any combat. I'm pretty sure if I answered those wrong, I'd probably do a couple of combats, but... Or they just asked me the question again, uh, a similar question. Yes. Let's do this. <laughs> the young adventurers have finished the prepa uh, preparations. I see you understand the power of live mana. But can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Face me, children of the solstice. Oh, good. We got his battle armor. And now time for giant fight time! Okay, so there's two pets. Elder Mist and Sword.
Oh! Oh, hey! Weakness animation! Ho <laughs> ho! down. How formidable! Ooh, a bright future awaits you indeed. Zale and Valerie, I name you Solstice Warriors. Knew it. You're the best. <laughs> there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond, and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you'll be sent out into the world. Woo! Don't take too long now. Good morning. That time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, ah yes. I suppose your friend should address that. Uh, address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Ooh, all it takes is for you to stand on a celestial rune. Then what? Something inside you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate. Bring us the dawn. Use right trigger and left trigger while standing on celestial shadows to change the time of day. How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that part is always easier by simply going for it. Now. In your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magic runes that react to the time of day. They were put in place by Solstice who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Your journey can begin. Come, meet me beyond this castle. How do we get across? <laughs> By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side. And as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Ah. Interesting mechanic.
I mean, it's not Chrono Trigger's time travel, but it is definitely Chrono's It is a time mechanic. Oh no. Ever missed Ireland's land? I do not like the looks of this, good sir. Going to set up camp. Time to use our new powers to cross over the big uh, the big statue atop Mountain Trail. This live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. Ready to be sent out into the world? Yes? Ah, let us see you off then. First, your prophecies. I will speak to them, uh, to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zael, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Val uh, Valerie, approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Garl! I get one too? Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. Ah, the mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart may be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> you have now learned everything I could teach you. I'm sending you to Sleep Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, just give it the name Extor to be sent to the Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extor and speak this one's name, which is Extor. Cool. Shit! Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Whew! Ah, Garl! <laughs> So it was that Zael and Valerie were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, and the other of life bereft.
Boink. Pop. Bloop. No way. That was awesome. Uh, the elder mist was kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then? There's only one way we can go from here, anyway. And this. Ha ha! Solstice Mage Ring. Okay, that was a gold one. Party member recovers one MP when they time a block. I'm gonna give that to sale. <laughs> Found 90 gold. Aha, wheat. Found one rainbow conch. That screams rainbow shell. Might interest the. Yeah. Hello, shortcut, my old friend. Potatoes. Ninjas. The Moorlands. Oh, boy. Weirdly enough, this music is reminding me of... Wild arms with the pipe flute slash whistle. Hmm. Well, I wish I could enjoy it. Thank you. 
Yeah, you got eggs. The surface feels fragile. It wouldn't break if it jumped through at high enough ground. Mushroom Fiesta. Okay. Time has made the ruins indecipherable. Interesting. Gonna get a level up soon. Rambo catch? Nope. Nothing. Power belt. Okay. More attack power. 20, 23. Uh, and also I did double check. This Leeching Thorn, I think, actually replaces the magic healing? Uh, I don't know. Well, it... Eh, maybe. I'm gonna... Okay, no it does not. Thank you. 
<laughs> that is getting really good to do. down for that one. And level up. Two physical attack, one mana point, two magic, three physical defense. Feel like I probably want some more defense. Uh, one more magic point. Potatoes.
This feels off the beaten path. Or teal amber ore. Huh. Yes. Time is made. Decipherable.
Sorry about that. A little distracted by an alarm. One rock lid. That sounds like an upgrade. Requires the firm grip. <laughs> oh no. Well, game over. Not going to add the level, uh, like the decrease things. Uh, oh.
Stonemason fishing lake. Interesting. Mushroom soup. Soup. Never find a ship at this altitude. There has to be a way down. Oh, travel on the ball again. Let's see what we can make now. Mushroom soup. One bone, six mushroom, and two milk. Jesus. Chaudre. As good as the pepper you grind into it. Two patats, two shrimp, and one milk. <laughs> Mushroom scramble. More fun to cook than it is to eat. That one could be helpful. And we only get to keep ten items. Lunar trout and two other fish. Hard shell. I'm just gonna swim out here and <laughs> free wheat and others. Anything behind the nope. And that's gonna be the fishing for Nope, that's just a bottle of grog. Someone's over there. Animated cutscene. Oh, 
think we should ask for directions. She looks busy. Ha, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Hello! Is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. Uh, it's... Hmm. This looks like... Nah, must be my imagination. <clears throat> so, what are those? Fascinating is what they are. Uh, these runes are the oldest form of writing, no us. Who's us? Ah, traveling historians, of course. Or at least what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you. My name is Gar. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Teeks. So, are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Zale and Valerie are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Huh? Wait! Pieces. D You're solstice warriors. I we I knew it. Trencher spirits, first battle, fader the shadows on an enchanted countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends! I, I mean. Well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Gar was something. Hey guys, Duke is an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Hmm. Uh, why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well. Don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Carl's cooking. I... Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. Again for the food, Carl. You really are a pretty good cook. <laughs> Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us any again anytime. So you're the very last traveling historian? At this point I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Oh. The traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild with a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been mean to ask. Shoot. Well... You see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but... If you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you when you're always traveling? <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's a perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me right up. Great. Just bring you any artifacts you find. 
We'll see how my Lord Grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story I wrote uh, the first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. I thought they were uh, I thought they were distinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Didn't even know that traveling historians were a thing. Wonder how many of them there used to be. Story Pine by the Campfire? Sign me up. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. The Vespertine. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. The story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. Their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one? <laughs> Alright. It's the treasure one finds along the way. Stormcaller took a resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain right here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First, they ran out of patience, then food, then eventually out of drinkable water. Then, one day after the sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the Sea of Nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place, until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare. Storm colors hatred pit against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Storm Collar's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it. She gets a short break once a day, but for a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen. Have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have a half mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. In the end. Rest. Good night, folks.
A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge, given the situation with the lift. Mm -hmm. uh, probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here. <sighs> Along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Teak joins the cargo! Cargo! Guest character that does not battle. The tingling of ancient magic can be felt. As if it had, it is, it had but completely faded away over time. Oh well. Not get that one just right. That one much better. There we go. Zale and Garl learned the combo skill. Soul of Rain! There we go. If he's not attacking anybody, I won't attack him. That's a big dragon. Stone Mason, so. Oh no, more people! The Elder hasn't returned! Markum Mud will kill us all! Rin! D Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course, they're Solstice Wars. Carl! No. 
We should help them if we can. Now, yeah, what's the matter? It's Malkumud, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mind uh, of the mind's wind tunnels. It's our job. It is to keep them unstructured so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. <gasps> but now Malkumud has taken over the mines, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world. It's more. He clogged the town ring power in the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brist to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolm's minions will start pouring out of the mines and, and... It's okay, we're here to help. What happens next? The, the elder women try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolm is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck. Thank you. Everyone, stop panicking. Solstice fires are here to solve everything. Including my toenail problem. Maybe not that. The Elder will return. Marco Mord won't kill us all. Don't kill some of us, but not all. Yay! Uh, I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots of me to learn here. Seems old when in the elevator has returned. I'm gonna have to jump in. up, I want to work in the uh, ground like my parents. Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Problems are weird. Oop. I found mushrooms. Teal anger. Shiny pearl. Hey! Good job, kid. Am I just okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. At least I could offer his payment. Thanks for the help. Oops. If the tunnels keep getting clogged with the wind, uh, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. The sleeper awakes. We are all doomed! Ancient moleskin cloak. Wind mines. Can't sleep since Malcolm took over the mines. Fierce minions might attack the town at any moment. Uh, we got a bot in chat. something real quick.
There we go. Sorry, everybody. Mill stopped functioning after the Malcolm would clog the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. Really want to take a bath. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. The Great Summoning. So much to learn here. Nope, nope, can't do that. Not allowed. Welcome to Sleepy Mansion. Would you like to rest in our geothermal room? Uh, no, no thanks. Come back in a tap. Are you really solstice wires? It's so cool. Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous. Ah, the shop. Heading out? I have a look at my equipment and food. Oh, I can... Miter small. Okay. So, equip now. So, valuables meant to be sold. So, let's. I have an abacus. Papiolote, uh, papiolote, beginners, uh, ensures double hits on regular attacks. This looks to be one of those things of, hey, just turn it on. Chance of automatically timing locks, true strike, negates enemy defense bonus when casting, decreases... These sound like how to turn on easy mode for easy mode. <laughs> well, I thought we already knew that, but I guess this is even more easy mode. More easy mode, so... Uh, automatically ensures, uh, like, timing on regular attacks. Uh, RNG of basically getting the timing block. Which means that occasionally a character will automatically block. Uh, turns magic attacks into heavy damage dealing because now there's no defense against them. And then just an outright damage reduction for every for everything. I mean it is a accessibility? For accessibility's sake, and I'm not against stuff like this, but at that... I don't know. I think there is a fine line between accessibility and you just watch a movie or a let's play of it if that's a problem. Yeah. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. What is this paint dale all night long? Hmm. This will be my best work ever.
Be careful in the mines. Apparently somebody spotted a monstrous salamander. Wind tunnel mines. Security reminder, uh, rules reminder, no jumping down. Whoop, my anchors. Are you the elder? I, I am. And you are. Solstice Wars. We're here to confront Malkavud. My, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Oh, not, not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic. When everyone started cheering as if I was going in to fix the problem. So, now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth, as I am to return to my people without a solution. Uh, uh, don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Uh, be careful now. Malcolm Wood is one mighty wizard. Miner's break room. Not gonna try and venture too far into this. Okay, so I am... Don't have the push ability yet. That is... I found a picnic basket? HP 15. We'll put that on sale. She'll get the leeching thorn. Thank you. 
amber. Nope. Dairy. Doesn't look like it can do anything here yet because oh, I'm missing something. Oh, hey! The heck is that thing in the background? You brought Pal back. I suppose I will go in then. Uh, the mines continue down uh, below. Please stall Malkamut. Well, we're going to stop there because actually, I gotta just do that. Hello? Hey there. Need something for the road? Ah, I, yes, I can buy this directly, and he's got these two. Let's cook, and then save, and then we're gonna stop for the night. But 
Next time, it looks like we're going to be dealing with uh, Malcolm. With the wizard. Uh, but, uh, everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, next Tuesday, we should be uh, returned to form. As for what game, that's going to be purely dependent on what Eddie decides. It could be uh, Starfield. It could be Armored Core. I'm hoping for Armored Core because then I can tell Eddie to sit down, revamp, and try again. Instead of trying to force his way through. Well, it's all dependent on how he feels at that given moment. Yeah, and given his th uh, thought patterns, it's, I'm going to make this work. And it's like, well, you can make it work. It's just harder on you. If it's Armored Core. If it's Starfield, we're, yeah, we're going to be subjected to some weird stuff. Uh, but thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, hope to see you Tuesday, whatever it is. It might actually be a return back to Satisfactory. Don't know yet. But stay tuned. Keep an eye out. Uh, as for if you like the content, the best way to support us is, of course, let other people know. Just spread the word. If you prefer a much more direct method, there is our Patreon or the sub points here on Twitch. Uh, we do have a podcast. It's intermittent. Uh, but generally, whenever there is a new one, it generally pops up on all major platforms. So Google, Apple, Spotify. All of our streams are archived on YouTube. Not organized, but they're archived. And other than that, uh, I hope everybody has a good night.